Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC19 in Denver, Colorado, and today we're at the Gigabyte booth with Peter. Peter, thanks for having me. Well, why don't we start at the beginning? Who is Gigabyte and who do you help here in the HPC space? Sure. Hi, 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 Rich. So Gigabyte, we started in 1986 as a motherboard manufacturer, and I think a lot of people know Gigabyte for motherboards or graphics cards, but we also do uh, enterprise hardware, so servers. Uh, we actually started uh, making servers uh, in the year 2000, so now we already have uh, 20 years of experience making server systems. Okay, well, I understand that a number of familiar names in this space, really, their devices are manufactured by Gigabyte, is that right? Oh, sure. Uh, there's a lot of brands that are, are, are using Gigabyte systems, so you may already be, have a, you be using Gigabyte hardware. You just check the, if it's a blue motherboard, odds are it could be one of our products. Well, Peter, what are you showcasing this week at SC19? So, uh, well, the focus of uh, um, our show this year is our uh, AMD Epic uh, ROM systems. Okay, Peter, can we take a booth tour and see what you have to offer? Sure, I'd love to. Okay. So, this one is our G482Z51. It's a 4U uh, dual socket AMD ROM uh, server, and it can support uh, eight. Uh, GPU cards in the rear. So this has a PCIe Gen 4 support. So you can see here we've installed uh, Radeon Instinct uh, MI50 uh, GPU cards. Okay. Excellent. And we'll also have a version which can support uh, 10 GPU cards as well coming. Yeah, this is our 2U um, GPU server. So this, this basically has maximum density of GPUs in a 2U box. So this is also a, a single socket AMD ROM platform. And you can see um, how can we fit this many GPUs. So each uh, riser card here, we have uh, two GPUs and then uh, it installs as so. And the airflow basically is going directly from the front to the rear. So straight, and there's two powerful fans here. So it basically sucks the air through. And that's how this uh, design, we can support that many GPUs in such a small form factor. Hmm. I think you have some more on the other side? Sure, sure. Yeah. All right, Peter, what do we have here? So this is our um, 2U4 node, uh, AMD Epic Brown platform. So each node uh, has a, a dual socket. Uh, so you can have 128 cores in one node, and there's four of these, so 512 cores in a in a 2U system. Wow. So that's a lot of uh, power right there. Yeah, yeah. So um, there's been uh, several HPC clusters in Europe already that have been built uh, with this system. And liquid cooling, I yeah. see. So yeah. we have a couple of uh, examples of liquid cooling. So this is one from uh, Cool IT, okay. and we also have one. We're working both with Cool IT and, and uh, Aztec. Oh. Yeah. So you can use even the uh, 280 watt uh, uh, CPUs with this system if you're using a liquid cooling. Okay. Okay. Uh, got one more. Yeah. yeah. This is this is my absolute favorite. Okay. This is an AMD Epic uh, two four node server for edge computing. Okay. So it's a it's a short depth chassis, oh, yeah. and here we have um, four. Uh, nodes that uh, are single single socket nodes with a uh, three PCIe Gen 4 expansion slots, and they just slide in like that. We have two models. One is a, a rear access, and the other one's a front access. So this one has uh, hot swap fan modules uh, in the front as well. So it's very serviceable um, and redundant as well because you have four nodes. So it's it's perfect for uh, for edge deployments. Looks like a great uh, breath of solution. Sure, sure. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. please uh, yeah, consider Gigabyte next time for your uh, server deployment.